Welcome back to Metal Magic. Today, we're gonna to show you how to set flush rivets. So, in previous episodes of this series, we've shown you how to drive and squeeze round head standard rivets. But a lot of times you're going to want to use flush rivets to make a nice smooth surface on your airplane. So we've shown you how to dimple and countersink. Now we're going to show you how to set those flush head rivets. And conceptually, it's pretty much the same as setting round heads. You're just going to be using a little bit different tools. So first we'll start with the squeezer. And again, we're using a pneumatic squeezer. You can use a hand squeezer, no problem. Um, what you're going to want is you're going to want a flat set on both sides. You're going to want a flat set on the side that you're going to, of, the, of both the shop head and the, and the, uh, the uh, manufactured head. So I've, I've used, I've, I've already got my piece countersunk and flush. So we've checked that the rivet sits nice in there. We've checked that we've got one and a half times the length of the rivet. And I've kind of eyeballed the setting on the squeezer to see that it's about right, probably a little wide. And now we're just going to line it up, making sure that you stay nice and flat, nice and parallel, and squeeze the rivet. Now I'm taking a look at that and I'm going, yeah, it needs to go just a little bit more. So let's take a half turn on the adjustable set and give it one more shot. That looks really nice. And now we'll go ahead and do the rest of those in line. So, rivet in the hole, line it up nice and flat, squeeze it. All the normal problems that you can have with riveting can happen here. If you don't have this square, you're going to end up driving the rivet partially back out of the countersink. You can, if the rivet is too long, you can tip the rivet or clinch it. So make sure you've got the right length rivet and make sure that everything is nice and square. When you, when you're, one of the tricks I use to do that is that when I put my, my, my squeezer on, I rock it a little bit so I can feel that it's actually in the fully square position. And one more for good measure. Okay, so that's very simple, squeezing uh, flathead rivets and they'll be nice and flush on this side. But sometimes you have to drive. So driving is very similar to what we've done before. You're just going to use a mushroom head set so it's nice and flat. And a lot of times putting a piece of blue tape over the end of that will help you uh, get a better grip on the rivet and it won't slide as much. So let's go ahead and do that and get a little blue tape. Okay, so we'll just use some blue painter's tape. You can use about anything that's handy. Tear off a piece, put it on our set, and you're going to have to replace that fairly frequently because you're going to just wipe it out. You're squeezing it with quite a bit of force. Again, we've turned the pressure down so that we're just barely, barely getting what we need. Might even turn it down just a little more because I was last driving dash fours and these are dash threes. We're going to use our hearing protection because, again, this is a pretty noisy job. We'll go ahead and put our rivet in place. Get our rivet set nice and flush. Put on our bucking bar and drive. A little bit more. We have a nice flush rivet. Got a nice shop head. Let's do two more just since we're here. this Clico out of our way. Another good one. Once you get going on these, you can just rip off a whole line of them. But make sure you stop and check that your rivets are consistent, that your shop heads are consistent, that you're staying the same size. I was just doing some 
dash threes earlier, so I kind of know what size the, the head should be, but don't be afraid to pull out your gauge and check them. That's uh, what you want to do for about the first one, two, or three thousand rivets that you set. One more, and we'll call this job done. Okay, so that's about all there is to setting flush rivets. Make sure you have good dimples, good countersinks, that your, that your rivets are setting nice and flush in there. Check your shop heads, make sure that they're the right size, use your gauge, and um, you'll have good luck. Thanks again to Aircraft Spruce for sponsoring the series, and thanks to you for watching. You'll just cut, you'll cut this out. Hi, I'm the assistant for Paul <laughs> That's right.